everyone, today's video is about when he slams you against the door. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's get going. The night is quiet, save for the occasional distant rumble of thunder. Yu and Bakugo have just returned home from a particularly tense mission. The atmosphere between you two has been very heavy with unspoken words. The tension, almost palpable. He barely managed to step inside the door before Bakugo slams it shut behind you, his intense gaze locking onto yours. Before he can say anything, he grabs you by the shoulders and slams you against the door, his eyes blazing with a mix of anger and something else, something more profound. Damn it. Why do you always have to worry me so much? His voice is rough, filled with worry and frustration. You blink, trying to gather your thoughts. I wasn't being reckless, Katsuki. I was just trying to... To what? Get yourself killed. He cuts you off, his grip tightening. You think I can just stand by and watch you throw yourself into danger like that? You can feel the heat of his breath against your skin, his proximity making your heart race. Despite his harsh words, you know that his anger stems from concern. He placed a hand on his shoulder, trying to calm him down. I knew what I was doing. I had it under control. Under control. His face was inches from yours as he scoffed. You were outnumbered five to one, and do you think that's under control? You swallow hard. Your gaze never leaving is. I trust you, Katsuki. I know that you'd never let anything happen to me. His eyes soften for a moment, but then his jaw tightens. That's not the point. He mutters. I can't lose you. Your heart aches at his words, and you reached up to cup his cheek. And you won't. I'm right here, aren't I? He closes his eyes, leaning into your touch for a brief moment before pulling you into a fierce embrace. You better be. He whispers, his voice cracking slightly. Because if anything ever happened to you, you wrap your arms around him, holding him close. I'm not going anywhere, Katsuki. I promise. He pulls back just enough to look into your eyes, his expression in sense. You better keep that promise. He says, his voice softer, but no less commanding. Because I can't handle losing you. You nod, your heart swelling with love for him. I will. I promise. Bakugo leans in, capturing your lips in a passionate kiss. His hands roaming your back as if to assure himself that you're really there, safe and sound. The kiss is a mixture of desperation and relief, a solemn vow that you both will do whatever it takes to protect each other. When you finally pull away, you're both breathless. He rests his forehead against yours, his eyes closed. Just be more careful next time, okay? You smile, pressing a gentle kiss to his lips. Okay, Katsuki, I'll be careful, for both our sakes. He nods, his arms still wrapped tightly around you. Good, because I love you, and I'm not letting anything happen to you. I love you too. You whisper, feeling the weight of his words settle in your heart. Always. Bakugo exhales deeply, his breath hot against your skin. He pulls you closer, his hands sliding down your neck and resting on your hips. The tension in the air starts to dissipate, replaced by a comforting sense of warmth and safety. Let's get you out of the suit, he mutters, his voice gentler now, though still carrying a hint of urgency. You nod. Feeling the exhaustion from the mission catching up to you, he helps you out of your hero uniform, his touch surprisingly tender, despite the roughness of his earlier actions. Once you're free of the constricting fabric, you feel a wave of relief wash over you. Thanks. You say softly, looking up at him. His eyes meet yours, and for a moment, you see the depth of his concern and love for you. Don't mention it. He replies, his usual gruffness returning, though there's a softness in his gaze that he can't quite hide. 
Come on, let's get you cleaned up. He leads you to the bathroom, turning on the warm water and grabbing a towel. As you step into the shower, you can feel his eyes on you, watching to make sure that you're okay. The water cascades over your body, washing away the grime and stress of the day. When you step out, Bakugo is there, ready with a towel. He wraps it around you, drying you off with a tenderness that always surprises you. Feeling better? He asks, his voice low. Yeah, much better. You reply, smiling up at him. Thank you, Katsuki. He nods, his expression softening, as he brushes his stray hair away from your face. Good. Now let's get you to bed. You let him guide you to the bedroom, where he helps you into a comfortable set of clothes. As you lie down, you can feel the weight of his body beside you. His presence a comforting anchor in the storm of emotions swirling around you. Don't scare me like that ever again, he murmurs, his arms wrapping around you and pulling you close. I mean it. You snuggle into his embrace, feeling his warmth seep into your tired muscles. I promise. You whisper, your eyes already starting to droop. I'll be more careful. He presses a gentle kiss to your forehead, his lips lingering for a moment. Good. He says softly, because I can't lose you. Not now, and not ever. You nod, the last of your resistance melting away, as you drift off to sleep, safe in the knowledge that Baku is right there, beside you, ready to protect you no matter what. And as the night wears on, the distant rumble of thunder fades into the background, replaced by the steady rhythm of his heartbeat against your ear, a reassuring reminder that you are loved and cherished, now and always. And the night wears on, the storm outside gradually subsiding until only the soft patter of rain remains. Wrapped in Bakugo's arms, you feel an overwhelming sense of peace and security. His presence is a constant and wavering force, grounding you even in the aftermath of the day's chaos. As dawn breaks, a soft light filters through the curtains, casting a warm glow over the room. He stirs slightly, feeling the gentle rise and fall of Bakugo's chest beneath your head. His grip on you tightens, as if in sleep he is determined to keep you close and safe. You smile, pressing a soft kiss to his collarbone. And just like that, in his embrace, you fall back to sleep, your heart's beating in sync, secure in the knowledge that your love will always keep you safe. Thank you guys for listening, I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye!